everybody, Michelle is here on this um, Tuesday. Yes, May the 28th, 2024. On a Tuesday in a place to be. Ah, man, I've been out running around doing a lot of things. Because I um, am in such a small space. I have to go, go around making decisions as to what I need to keep and what I need to just go ahead and get rid of or give away. And uh, that is uh, very, very challenging when you are, uh, you know, working on several different things and you don't know what you're going to need versus what you, what you already have. And so that's why it's so important to know what you have in your environment so you'll know what you need, okay, and then just what you want. But anyway, I wanted to come on through and talk about some things uh, <clears throat> that are, that a lot of people are charging you for a lot of things in life that are your birthright. And I understand some of the complexities of that, and I understand the reasoning behind a lot of it. But a lot of it is just um, uh, something that has to develop in you, and you have to be ready for certain things to happen in your life. So in other words, I said, you know, you can read, you can read a million books, but if you're not absorbing any of it, it's, it's not that it's going to go anywhere. It's just going to get stored, stored, stored. And when it's time for, when you're ready to take on that information, you know, usually it happens like that. You know, it's, it's like an impulse. And it's like, wait a second, wait a second. You know, you get those, these ideas, okay? And I told you, all that's coming from your consciousness, okay? It's not coming from your mind. It's not coming from your brain. It's coming from your consciousness. And your, your consciousness working with your subconscious, working with, his, with your unconscious, with all of that. All of that is happening simultaneously as you are going through your life and, and, and taking in certain things. Everything your eyes see, everything you're, you hear, you feel, is stored within you forever. That's that energy I told you about that no one can touch. But it can be damaged, just like any other goods. Any other good, a good thing can be damaged. Okay? So, again, a lot of people are going to be coming forward towards you telling you this, telling you that about how to be successful, how to be uh, present, how to be conscious, how to be aware. You know, it's, it's just going to be a whole lot of stuff coming through. And based on the development of your consciousness, some of it will re uh, resonate, some won't, some, some, some of it will not. But like I said, it is stored because everything is captured by your consciousness or by a storage bank. It's just captured just remember this, it's captured by energy, okay? And, and there's many forms of energy in that a lot of people do not understand. And that's where people run into a lot of danger, a lot of danger, literally. And especially figuratively and metaphorically, but more so to their consciousness. They're damaging their consciousness because of how they're thinking and their, their form of thinking mode. So, again, I notice a lot of people are going to be coming at you. They're going to... Uh, uh, hopefully inspire you uh, but but you know again we, you need to look at it as, as an individual why are you doing that why are you doing it and, and ask yourself okay how is this benefiting me okay so if you're doing things because you're just attempting to increase certain um, you know I mean you know you know, you, you are increasing engagement with people online. But what if you were doing that offline? What if you were offline? Would you be doing that? Those are the questions you need to ask. If you were offline, how would you be behaving versus how you're acting online? It's really, really important to, to kind of bring that in sync. I said in the beginning that I am doing this for my young people. I am. I'm doing it for my future young people. You know, because when you get to a certain age, there's only so much that you are going to, um, you know, pick up in your environment. In other words, 
sometimes people are just fixed on a certain reality and they're not going to change no matter who's saying anything to them. They'll change temporarily, you know, and then it's let a crisis come through. They're right back to the same habits. That's why it's so hard to break, you know, certain substance abuse, any type of abuse that you're that you're encountering. It's going to be so difficult to to um, to resolve it for a lot of people. Um, so, but then that's where, like I said, that's where gentleness and kindness comes in, compassion and understanding comes in, because chances are you won't ever get rid of a addiction or get rid of a uh, something that's causing you harm. You just have to slowly neutralize it and 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 understand what it is and how how it is necessarily not you per se and so and those are the kind of things that are required a different thinking mode and a lot of people are not going to be accepting of it and you know for me i i you know like i said i know what i'm doing i know the realities of what we're dealing with and it's not good for a lot of people Again, I told you that social media platform is like a sphere of its own. It's like its own entity, and it is. It's, a, it's, it's like a circle. It's like its own earth, okay? Earth 2.0, if you want to say that. You know, it's like, it's like earth, like I told you, we're in a, um, a large balloon, and we have little balloons inside of us, okay? Social media is part of that, okay? Is part of that, and then you have other groups of like-mindedness that's doing their part. Other, you know, so we're we're in a big b b balloon of smaller balloons, and it's a fragmented collective. You know, we we ought to be a whole collective, but we're not. We're fragmented. So you're gonna find people breaking off in certain, um, separate. You know, gonna, gonna be separating themselves, and I said allow people to do that. There's a reason. But I'm telling you, allow people to separate if they want to. If somebody doesn't want to be around me, let them move. Let them go somewhere where they feel safe and and and, and in a, an environment that suits them. Do not interfere with that. Um, there's more going on behind the scenes than any of us will ever know. And that's the whole purpose. We are not supposed to know certain things. And that was that's why a lot of things are not written down, per se. Um and that's why you have to be really that's why I say you need to ask yourself what does it mean to be loyal because a verbal agreement is just as important as something written and most of the most important devastating things that are happening to us were not written down but there's something there's a secret to it well not a secret there's something that will be revealed about all of that because I told you everything is captured everything we all have a storage bank individually of energy that no one can touch the planet has a storage bank. The universe has a storage bank. If you think about that literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, fossils is a literal sense of it. Fossils, okay, that's a literal sense of what is stored into our earth and many other things that are stored into our earth. The resources in our earth, the crust of our earth that's being stolen as we speak. It has been stolen for decades upon decades, but upon decades. At some point, it's going to hollow out, hollow out this earth, literally. Okay, and cause it to be just, I mean, more unstable than it is. You think floods are an issue, earthquakes, you know, volcano eruptions, you know, all underground uh, activity, uh, you know, because we have nuclear reservoirs stored on the ground and, and, and everything else. You know, we bury our loved ones, their remains are what, underground. All of that stuff is gonna be affected because of the unstableness of our planet. Now, um, I don't know, I didn't go see the, there's this um, exhibit that's been out for, I, I don't know how long, about the sphere. And a lot of people were telling me about it, how it sort of was given a depiction of our, our planet from a from a different um, viewpoint, and that's so important, by the way, to get different modes of thinking, modes of viewing things, get different modes of how you feel. You know, you gotta you gotta take that chance. Well, not take a chance. 
you know, like I said, I got to work on my words too. You just have to take a risk and, and just put yourself in certain type of realities, in certain type of environments, like, like I am here. You know, this is an environment that's, that's pretty rough. I mean, well, let's put it this way. It is rough for some people. Okay. Uh, for me, you know, it's just, it's, it's, uh, I know, I know in the back of my mind that it's temporary. So that eases my, eases a lot of things for me and um, allow me to, okay, know what, what the end game is, you know, what is my purpose? What's my intention? And I have plenty, plenty of that on the plate that I've shared over the course of time. Again, a lot of people are going to come at you, throwing these quotes at you, which a lot of it is coming from the coming from within. I can, or 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 it appears to be, you know, it appears to be everyone's sharing their narrative, which I enjoy. I do enjoy it, to be honest with you. Uh, but I could I can also see the dark side of a lot of stuff that's happening right before our eyes that a lot of people are not paying attention to, and that's these programs and these AI, these artificial intelligent programs that are running in the background. You know, and even if you decide to take yourself out of that sphere, you know, that individual sphere of social media or the Internet or whatever it's called, the remnants of you will always be there forever, forever. In other words, your footprints of 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 you will always be in the sphere of the social media platforms or the Internet or whatever you want to call it. Okay, because that's that has been the pattern and behaviors of these softwares in the background since the inception of the internet. Gathering data, 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 data. They have all of this data on us stored, and I, and I, and I attempt to bring it to someone's, you know, bring it to the attention of a lot of us back in 2022. And as a result, I got targeted for doing that. And I, and I put out videos explaining what that was all about. Okay, uh, I was targeted, and I guess I was considered a, a a threat. Okay, a national security threat, possibly, but it'll be denied. And and I, you know, I mean, for a lot of people, if that had happened to them, what was happening to me, they they would say, well, why would you get back on the internet? Well, that's not how I operate. Okay, I wasn't doing anything wrong. I was just sharing knowledge, sharing information. And that is where we're running into a lot of uh, uh, dangers because a lot of people just assume. They assume if they just do research only on the Internet, and even if they go out and talk to a handful of people, a lot of people just do not know how to think properly. So they don't know how to discern properly, and they don't know how to change their thinking modes to say, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So many people on the social media platform, especially a lot of these high influencer types, you know, that self describe themselves as such, because you know that's what they tell they tell their audience, uh, have uh, other intentions that are, uh, in my opinion, um, not in the best interest of the people that are following them. That's just my opinion. It's about, um, you know, it's about that, how they are in, so, in such a need of attention, they're not getting it in their, in, their, in their realities, no matter what they tell you, okay? They know in their realities that no one gives a damn about them, and that's bothering them, you know? And so they go, they, they've gone online, they've been online for decades, creating these false personas of themselves. And they know that the majority of us are too busy and too caught up in our own realities and our own accountabilities and responsibilities. We don't have time to check and make sure you know that, that, that what they're telling us is true or not. And so sadly, people like myself and others who are attempting to help, we have to work in that. We have to work with that. We have to navigate around it. There's not a goddamn thing I can do to, to stop it. It's a, it's a sphere of its own. So I go in and visit. When I go onto the social media platform, when I go on the internet, I'm visiting. And then at some point I take myself off of it and then go into my reality of my life and deal with the realities of my life. A lot of people are despondent, depressed, 
and it's going to get worse and worse and worse because they're so immersed on the internet but when they attempt to come off of the internet they realize that they need to be back on you know it's it's it's, it's going to always be that battle you know that 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 struggle a battle to just be neutral and, and do be everything be do everything you can to be flexible and like I, and also start by just stripping yourself of who you think you are strip it you know you know i am a teacher i am a scientist i am a influencer i'm an actress i'm a i'm autistic i'm a you know just strip all of that off i'm a man i'm a woman just strip it off for 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 you know as many times as you can during your day and see if you can sit into that don't be comparing yourself to other people that's where we you know gosh that's why all this these surgeries are taking place and all this deformity that we're causing to our looks and not realizing there's consequences to our health by doing all of that just see if you can stand in that preferably stand and see if you can just take in what is really going on you know I put out plenty of meditation videos on that plenty of suggestions on how you ought to be grounding yourself in your reality okay and and not be so concerned about okay I'm you know I got this much money in the bank I don't have no money in the bank and I have this many cars I have these this many properties okay I'm telling you mother nature is gonna work that out for you and you're not gonna like it all right so just see if you can just stand there and you're and be grounded take all of that you know like I said suspend that ego that you did develop and keep in mind your ego is important your ego is there to defend you is there to represent you but it doesn't run your life you run your life your your ego doesn't so just take it away <sighs> breathe okay and, and and get get grounded so There's um, something else brewing in the background as well. And uh, I know me and my glasses on and off, on and off. There's something else brewing in the background that is, um, you know, I keep, I keep bringing it out as well, you know. And so, and the reason why, um, you know, I think so many people are, you know, attempting to come in and get in and get in front of your face, you know what I mean? Is because of uh, you know they are attempting to save face. I've said that so many times, but a lot of them are being manipulated to do such things that they're doing, and some are being indoctrinated at the same time. And you know, when desperation steps in. That's where you just need to just, just bring a halt to it and say, okay, all right, what, what's really going on here? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? What's the benefits to me? You know, again, the social media platform is a, a sphere of its own. It's like planet Earth 2.0, okay? And we are all imprinted on the social media. We cannot get away from it. And people that do attempt to get away from it, you always need to be monitoring what's going on because it's like a piece of you is there and that piece of you is what's going to be used against all of us via artificial intelligence. Especially the higher you are in the so-called chain of events, you know, the higher you are in that pyramid, the higher you are in that celebrity list, you're going to be the affected the most. Okay? You're going to be sitting in your living room minding your own goddamn business and realize that there is something going on in the social media sphere that's involving you being manipulated with your imagery, with your voice, your sounds and tones. And because there's billions and billions of people paying attention to that, it's going to be next to impossible to control it. You know, you just going to have to think clearly and effectively about that and do everything you can now and see if you can safeguard and protect your narrative, protect your property, um, 
protect your creativity, you know, protect your, uh, you know, what belongs to you that you put in the effort to create, you know, protect your creativity. Um, there's not, there's nothing to say that it, it will, uh, you know, stop what's brewing. I mean, it's brewing, oh, and it's popping up, like you know. And the people that are going to get hurt the most at to that is these influencer types, these high income types, these these highly visible type people. You know, sometimes, um, you know, too much was too much is a is just as bad as not enough. Okay, too much is just as bad as not enough, and you just have to know strategically why you are doing certain things. I know. It doesn't make sense to anyone right now, and it doesn't have to. There's other things going on in the background that a lot of people need to be paying attention to. Okay, that relates to them, that relates to you, and not be so much concerned about, you know, it, you know, is, 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 is everything solid in your life? And I'm not talking about on the internet. I'm talking about in your life. Is it solid? Okay, do you have a foundation? Literally, figuratively, metaphorically. All right, so I'm gonna keep coming through with some 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 information, share my narratives, share my stories. Uh, you know, putting a little bit breadcrumbs into the consciousness, because you know that's what it's about, and 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 doing everything I can to help people save their consciousness before it's damaged goods. And again, think about what happens to damaged goods. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. It's about universal love. Share it. And trust me, I'll be back. <laughs>